Back to my woman and everybody, Jamie here to do the YouTube uh, day five of 14 days of way up. I had to think about that. Um, yeah, I filmed, filmed this this morning and then, uh, as always, technology mm, said, no, you're not. Um, had some issues at the end, but that's okay. So thanks for coming across to the YouTube channel and checking it out. It is um, yeah something we're trying to do, as I sort of mentioned this morning, is to build a bit more of an online profile. So we will be, you know, shooting more videos. We will be um, doing some more online stuff. Just just conversation and content really about what Way Upper is. So the the yarn this morning was about the lightning. Uh, number five, I think Mon said it was, you know, next one was lightning. Correct, Mon. Um, correct, Mondo. Ah, that's a bad joke, sorry. Um, you know, it was about lightning and the importance of lightning for Mother Earth. So it's actually about acknowledging Mother Earth's tools that she has at her disposal to create the energy and the, um, the nutrients that she needs to actually be well. So, it, you know, when I, the, the most thing about Wayapa is, is that, you learn more and more about the environment. Um, you learn about you know people's own personal experiences, um, but also you learn you know what are the cultural stories and what are the cultural nuances um, that attain to the elements, which is quite amazing. And I think the beautiful thing about it is that we're, we're not we're not experts. Oh, I don't see myself as an expert, um, but basically a, a learner and sharer of knowledge that I attain. So that's how I like to see Waiapa is that. Um, I love meeting people and talking to them about about their own experiences um, with the elements because you know and their own information because I learn so much it's so rich so drop a comment um, down below if you've got some information that you want to share about about lightning so one of the things that I learned this morning about lightning was that we usually talk about lightning in the three stages of sheet lightning chain lightning fork lightning slash bolt lightning um, but one of the things that I learned, uh, learned last night was is that technically that's called there's IC lightning, there's CC lightning, and there's CG lightning. And I was like, oh, what's that? And basically what it is, it is um, uh, insular cloud, which is sheet. There's cloud to cloud, which is when lightning crosses from cloud to cloud, that's chain. And then there's cloud to ground, CG lightning, which... Um, is about the lightning striking the ground. So again, you know, the movements that we do in Waiapa, the movements, you know, as, as it is, it's a meditation, uh, visualization and movement modality um, is about understanding, you know, connecting into how those things work. So it's quite amazing um, when you start to learn about, about Waiapa and about all the elements and how they actually all interconnect and interrelate. With the 14 elements, it's about how they um, all, all uh, to serve a purpose, they all serve a purpose, and how they actually are interconnected as well, how they, they need each other. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, we do have an online course available uh, on our website, wabba.com. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to yarn about the, the lightning and start a conversation about it. Um, Sarah's going to post a video tomorrow about Wabba and how it's helped her out. Um, I've got one coming, which is... a uh, um, it's a pretty personal one actually, so watch out for that. Just learn a little bit about JT here. And um, yeah, so still summer in Australia here. It's been pretty warm today, um, but just been enjoying it and been have gratitude that, uh, you know, I have um, another beautiful day to enjoy of my life. So so yeah, see you all tomorrow for day six of 14 days of Waiapa as we head into the, the supermoon. All right, talk to you soon, you Ma Buguruk and Yarabi.